The Amazon is the largest river in the world and it goes right through Brazil from north to south. And it's where we've been the last 10 days. Beautiful land with tons of water and trees and crazy animals and amazing people. The Amazon is this magical wonderland of jungle and breeze and water and animals and craziness and chaos. This is huge. It's crazy. It's, it's something where you know there's people, but you never think you get to connect with those people. And so the fact that instead of staying in a building on land, we're staying like on the actual river, in a boat, in hammocks, and just it creates a whole different dynamic. And it also gives us an opportunity to get away from clicks. And we all knew that we were going to sleep in hammocks, but we didn't know how close we were going to be. So we're practically hugging each other. But we thought about it and we thought, how could we make this better? So what we ended up doing is retying them, staggering higher and lower, higher and lower. So that way we wouldn't hit each other in the night and that ended up working out very well. Our, our daily lives are awesome, but to just break away and to come out here and to be technology free and to be away from your loved ones, it's just to focus on God. You really, really depend on God out here and I think it really helps you build a relationship closer to Him, especially seeing His love in like a lot of the locals. When I was younger, Adra was always like the thing the adults did. You know, an elite group of adults that would go and save people, whether it be medically or whatever else. They're beyond just here, we're here to build you a house. We're here to also share a good message, but we're not just saying, Jesus loves you, and high-fiving them and walking away when they have no water. A lot of hard work, but in the end, I think the villages really enjoyed the, their new church. and. Um, I don't know, it was really fun, just all of us connecting, just painting for one good cause. So we had one doctor come with us, Dr. Carmen, and we would do triage and also eye testing to see if the patients needed glasses. And the triage, we would just get their name, their age, and the reason for their visit. And Dr. Carmen would see each patient one at a time. Painting was fun. The color was interesting. It was really fun. I love painting just because you can get a little messy and have fun with it too. So it's not all strictly business. We taught them uh, our, our songs like Hallelujah, Hallelujah and a lot of other English songs. And some of them we translated to um, Portuguese. And then we did a lot of crafts, like bracelets and hats, and we talked a lot about Jesus. The soccer experience was a lot of fun because here in Brazil, soccer is kind of like, soccer is embedded in the culture, so it's very important. Uh, it's a very important way of bonding with the kids and bonding with the community and getting to know them and getting to mess around with them. It's pretty simple, just me playing guitar. I have three other musicians that are singing with me and they brought ukuleles and stuff like that. And so we've really been able to get a simplistic feel, but everyone's bought into it. And so our worships, we get to sing together, we're having fun. It's, it's been a blessing for sure. This trip definitely puts you outside of your comfort zone, what you're used to back home. But also, because you're out of your comfort zone, you're able to grow a lot. Um, and so, Having an attitude that's ready to go with the flow, ready to help jump in and switch your plans will definitely help make this experience more meaningful and impactful.